in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed online there is always a mystery to engage in. Show me, oh God, the missing link to the next level. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point and then we are seated. Father, visit me tonight. I didn't come to waste my time. I know there is more to know. There is more to know. There is more to know. It's a sacrifice for my destiny. There is more to know. Lift your voice and pray. Shabros kalabaria takapanda. Jeketekete barata paria de balabo. Soprende kes kalabaria tekapo shaba. There's always more to know. Always more to know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please be seated. Good evening, everyone. Let me start first and foremost by sincerely appreciating our sacrifices um, God has given us. I believe it's a supernatural grace. There are things that we do as a ministry that um, is not the norm for a normal ministry. When you do that, it will cost you a lot, such as the impromptu shifting of venues, you know, readjusting meetings and programs. Um, many ministries have paid for it, just shifting the date of a meeting, a convention, a conference. And I sincerely want to appreciate every one of us every time we get word, we get information that um, adjustments here and there are made to the meetings, either the days or the timings. We have been very faithful to cooperate um, and I sincerely want you to know that the Lord will bless you. For me, it's a sign of your love for God, your passion and your commitment towards your destiny, and also your sincere belief in the anointing and the grace that is upon my life and upon this ministry. And for that, I am deeply grateful. I would not take it for granted, especially for the thousands connecting online. Koinonia has become for many people um, the word of the Lord for them in season. I'm amazed at how many people from different nations and different places literally leave off the, the spiritual investments that they receive through this place. Thousands of ministries have been greatly built. Individuals have come into greater levels of the anointing and um, I've also had the privilege of traveling quite extensively, especially in recent times. And uh, I am always very humbled to see the finger of God at work in territories we have had. I think it's been a very glorious year. Every year I keep saying this is the best, but um, sincerely speaking, I have seen the hand of God in ways probably this year more than ever before. I have seen the manifestation of his spirit and his anointing. God has done so many things. There is nothing more profitable for any man of God 
than seeing the fruit of your dealings and your trainings with God. Other people are living off the fruit of your work with God. It's so consoling and it's so blessing. Let me encourage someone up front. God is going somewhere with you. Be patient with him. Be patient with him. This is already a prophetic word for someone. Don't, don't rush God. The thing that is coming upon your life is big. Don't, don't rush God carelessly. Are we together now? A cow, I think a cow is pregnant for 13 months. Am I right? 13 months before it gives birth. There are other animals and other lower creatures that the entire gestation period, maybe from a week to a few months, depending on the size and the quality of what is being delivered. The long pregnancy communicates the quality of the prophecy you are about to deliver. Be patient with God. Are we together? Be patient with God. God is working out something that is transgenerational. God is working out something that for many of us will outlive the territories where he began with us from. This is how mighty men were raised. Sometimes it can be frustratingly long, but just wait with God. He said, ye who have continued with me, not ye who started with me, continued with me. Are we together now? One of the things that destroy people is when they begin to compete with themselves. Oh, we graduated together with so, so, so person. Now the person has three cars. And I'm here just trying to press into God. Don't be foolish. Be discerning. You must understand that the program of God for people is very different. That person is a happy civil servant with his wife. But there is an anointing upon you that is for nations. The dealings cannot be the same. Are we together? There are times God will tell others go and he will tell you wait. Please, I'm, I'm speaking prophetically to someone tonight. It is important for you to see the magnitude of where he's taking you to. I look at my life today and I look at what God is doing and I thank him for granting me the grace to stay with him. I look at how many lives are being blessed and have been blessed. Do you know people will reward you for waiting? Yeah. Your waiting in itself is not a loss. You must stay and understand there is no man who attempting to build a house will not sit down and count the cost, whether he has what it takes to complete it. This rush, rush life, please hear me. This life of wanting to do everything at once, it will land us in trouble. Are we together? There's a kind of fish that you have to cook it for a very long time. What's the name? The stock, stock, is this? No, not stock. It's stockfish. Huh? No, no, no. There's, I can't remember the name. You have to cook it for a long time if you really want to enjoy it. You can off the fire if you are tired and eat whatever is there. But if you are ready for a healthy meal, it will stretch your patience. The hunger is burning you from head to toe, but you wait. But you wait in hope. You see, that's the difference. You can wait in vain. Both of them look the same. That's what is painful. It is the end that will show whether you were waiting in vain or waiting in hope. Because those who are waiting in vain and those who are waiting in hope, everything looks exactly so. It is the end that justifies it. So don't just wait foolishly. You wait in hope. Hallelujah. Let me, before we briefly touch on what the Lord put in my heart to bless us with. I just want to remind us again and again, I will keep doing this as God grants grace, as to why we are gathered here week in, week out. We have been doing this for many years and for those who have been part of the ministry long before Koinonia, in fact for many people it was every day, every week 
laboring when when you look at people and they tell you they've been doing this for 10 years 15 years you're asking you mean this is how I mean nobody questions a student they look at you after 15 years and they say ah where are you now and they say oh finally I just got admission or oh, I'm writing work nobody says till now they say wow congratulations although the time is long but you are paying that price in hope one day they will ask you and you say oh sorry to tell you i got a job five years ago i'm now the director of the company and ha, that little boy writing jesse listen god is going somewhere with you you can choose to end your dealing with him that's not going to hell you will not go to hell but you have pegged the extent to which God can do business with you. I've told God there is no restraint as far as my work with you is concerned. I break every limit. Take me as far as you can take me. Stretch me as far as I can be stretched until I can carry an anointing that will bless a generation. Thank God for that which you have done, but this is child's play. In the visions of the Lord, I keep seeing it again that there is more. There is more. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, stretch me. Don't leave me like this. Don't leave me like this. I've seen signs and wonders, but this is not enough. I can't take what I have now to the nations. It will make me fight and quarrel. It will create competition. It's not unique enough. It's not distinguished enough. Oh, oh, oh. attention to what I'm saying the key to being a real blessing is to be very anointed Jesus himself showed us this how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth verse 38 of Acts chapter 10 with the Holy Ghost and with power listen then it says he on the strength of that quality of the anointing he went about doing good you cannot do good just out of compassion the problems that befall mankind takes more than sympathy there are challenges in the lives of people that need you have to move further than comfort you are truly a blessing when you pay the price for the anointing young and old listen to me I'm speaking to you every man of God I know today who is doing mighty things for God who is being thanked and honored by nations they are only thanking the anointing the price to have brought something forth is painful it's not a gift it's a school in the spirit and the semester system does not work like school here one course can take two days to finish another course can take four years to finish you don't have a system with god and say okay after a particular predefined space of time no you can be moving forward in the spirit and then just stay in a particular class and for two years you have not moved it's not backsliding it is the course content is bulky and you must be articulately trained 
now you can choose to think you are too you are too long and then graduate yourself the door is always open this lecturer does not close the door it is your passion that closes the door in this school of the spirit is students that close the door the holy spirit does not close it is wide open you can choose to walk out and say lord i'm tired please I'm, I'm grateful with all the mediocrity moving around and then you'll get angry and criticize others nothing will replace the absence of the presence and the anointing of the spirit i learn this every day as i have the privilege of studying history studying the moves of god and watching the things that god does through my life let me tell you the anointing is is a commodity of inestimable worth never trivialize it it is the secret of transgenerational relevance you are truly a blessing when you pay the price to sustain the ability to change lives to shift systems then you are a blessing sympathizing with people may help psychologically but it will not prefer solutions any man that trivializes the anointing is about to waste his time on earth i tell you the truth it has nothing to do with ministry i went for a meeting you know something happened i didn't even tell my people they watched that happen we came in this evening from a meeting i've been ministering in a conference and as i was stepping out by the roadside just to go to the vehicle probably they are here i may not know two families who came on friday for koinonia trusting god for a miracle of the fruit of the womb the husbands together with their wives and they were friends they decided to come and koinonia didn't hold on friday so they now paid the price went back to kaduna to catch up with the final session of the meeting this morning and when the meeting was done i think the protocol helped them i was walking and they came and um, they just looked at me and compassion filled my heart now whether or not i can solve their problem is another thing and it's wickedness to claim i can solve it when i cannot you see let me tell you something if you love god and you love people you will pay the price for the anointing that is the only way to bless people i'm speaking to someone here here's a family experiencing this kind of challenge they don't need counseling they've heard it they are not daft people I don't have to tell them just go and see doctor so 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 and so I, I think they are adults enough they are married and they stood there and I watched the two women and watched their dear husband standing and I was standing in the middle of an opportunity that can begin a new journey for a family or brag like we always do as men of God lay hands on them and walk away and let them go back to disappointment and i looked at them years ago i would have been in i would have been in so much um um guilt because i knew i really wouldn't do anything about it but as the days have unfolded i have seen the spiritual synergy that this thing is a formula you can produce repeated results in the lives of people i caught the revelation of fruitfulness this year this year 2016 i caught it like a key and i said this is it i've gotten it there is a key when you search you will find when you wait for it to come and meet you you will never find it there's a lot of spiritual laziness we hope that god will carry the word and look for you no hospital moves around looking for patients the hospital is built even if you cannot walk they will carry you there there is a a unit called emergency but you have to get there i see people many times and i see that we're not really passionate enough i'm like a spiritual historian i'm searching what is the secret behind predictable results in this area there must be a hunger and i looked at them and I told the women hold my hands and they held my hands and I knew their wombs were open yeah not necessarily because they were under the anointing rolling I knew 
there is a level of flawlessness that you can step into as far as the dispensing of the anointing at that point you will know that you are a blessing you can see a man 20 years of misery and his prayer is to have an encounter with Christ through you and the moment they see you they start rejoicing because they know their problems have ended let me teach you something I'm still going to use money I hope you don't mind um, let me use money watch this I think I've taught it here the anointing is like money there are things the level of anointing you have can afford to produce there are results that you are anointed is not enough everything that needs to be purchased in the realm of the spirit that is below the level of your anointing can be purchased but every challenge higher than your level of anointing cannot be purchased watch this I did the teaching this morning similar to this and I want to use that analogy if I have for instance I'm not saying anointing is money but if I have a thousand naira worth of the anointing Ejimi, and if you need maybe 200 naira worth of a miracle this miracle you need is within the jurisdiction of my anointing to produce it are you getting the point now so when you come to me I will be able to minister to you and give you an assurance that you are going back with a result are we together but if thank you if what you need is um, let's say a miracle the equivalence of a phone of 50,000 am I anointed yes but the challenge he has is beyond the anointing that I possess to solve that problem don't just say anointing is anointing you are joking how God anointed Jesus look at the extent that's why he could do good every problem Jesus confronted was lower than his level of the anointing so there was flawless results I'm telling you this is is a revelation God gave me the reason why some things happen and some don't happen is that those that happen are within the level of the anointing to be able to release it and those that are above it so I can lay hands on you falling down is under this but the miracle you need is above it so you will fall down and yet not have the miracle are you getting what I'm saying now you can come to me say man of God prophesy over my life I lay hands on you and you fall because the dynamics of being slain in the spirit is, 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 the, is a basic dimension of the anointing it does not mean you received anything so when you possess such a dimension of grace such that the major problems of mankind is within the jurisdiction of your grace to solve at that point you are a living blessing the woman with the issue of blood if she touched Peter she would have kept bleeding correct yeah but she touched a man who was dripping anointing from head to toe when you saw Jesus you knew that was it if you did not receive from Jesus it was not a lapse of power it was your dishonor and lack of discernment do we have such people in Zaria do we have such people in Nigeria men that you can carry your trouble with joy with joy not with suspicion that the moment you land in Koinonia before service starts you are dancing because you said the devil that did not stop me from coming here that's the end of it when people testify I am touched not just by the testimony but I'm humbled that by grace we have been able to stay with God and grow to a level where now the anointing we possess is above their challenges this is a very deep secret that many of you will catch as you grow in ministry it's working in me it's working in me it's God's ability God's ability is working in me is working in me listen you know you possess an anointing when certain testimonies start repeating themselves when you begin to hear repeated testimonies then you know the same way a woman cooks 
and before you get to our restaurant psychologically you have tasted the food because you know she's not going to tell you sorry today this year i'm burnt she's left that level that's why they put a price tag on their food you buy rubbish for 200 naira anything you see smoky or not you manage it because you know what you paid for but when you pay 10,000 naira for a meal listen what will make men leave their nation and come to you are you that important because you think your name is Joshua Selman are you that important that a man can let me tell you something most people say people are busy nobody is busy everybody is looking for solution if you become what they are running around looking for I promise you you can hold koinonia every day by 10 30 to 3 a.m in the morning notice the time 10 30 to 3 a.m men will still come and you'll be wondering are you not a government worker again and they will say the last person you prophesied to his salary for 30 years came to him in one year why should i want to labor like that you are not a blessing when you are not anointed i'm telling you this learn it understand this speak grammar speak hebrew words speak greek do anything you want to do if you cannot reveal christ he said great is the mystery of godliness christ is come in the flesh the world becoming flesh that men and women can carry their results a man comes here not loving god and hearing you speak something infects him he goes back and does not even know what is happening to him again look how long it takes people in the body of christ to adjust to spiritual things they get born again in january no passion in the atmosphere they got born again it's in november they now consider being filled with the holy spirit oh no there's no fire there there is a way you can step into an anointing huh the lifespan of your journey is one week in one week it will look like you've been born again for 10 years because of the impact of the grace you came under i made a vow to myself i said i will never go to a ministry twice to reveal Christ there yeah. twice no no that you invite me and say come again it's like pushing a wall let's keep pushing uh -uh. I prepare my spirit that if God grants me an opportunity to come to your city or your area then you know something dramatic will happen can men come to you are you that valuable I watch people trivialize the Holy Spirit I watch people trivialize the anointing and then somehow they think the key is just to receive lay none of hands oh man of God I came with a seed of one million just lay hands on me and then you go to another one lay hands on me and it's as if you are shopping for anointing and then you bring it and say now I have what it takes you are joking you are really joking you believe spiritual things are that cheap I came to challenge you there is where God is taking you to don't 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 rob yourself of the privilege of standing before nations to be a representation of the power and the grace and the glory of God look at the testimony of that dear lady 4.69 you get 4.69 if it's cheap try it go and prophesy to somebody after this night that you will come back with the same result and then you see that it's not so easy the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference when Benihin came to Nigeria two weeks ago look at the rush look at the preparation literally he kept the body of Christ at a standstill is it true that everything he shared you have never had it will you be honest to say you have never had it is it true that what he taught you has never been heard he has repeated it in many churches he has taught series on it so why seek him why crowd yourself outside in overflows why sit down and stream why cancel your programs you didn't bring a man you brought a grace you brought an anointing you brought a priceless ability that can turn the lives of people around now foolish people say what is there about them no no 
when you honor a man you don't honor a body you honor sacrifice you honor a depth of sacrifice that has afforded god space to move through that vessel in a mighty way listen listen look up let me tell you something come david dam let's assume david dam has let's assume that he has um high blood pressure or hiv watch this don't you think god wants to heal him on wednesday don't you think god wants to heal him next year the desire of god to heal him is the day someone who has paid the price to give god space to release that dimension of his possibility when that vessel appears his healing has come why do people sit on a wheelchair till an anointed man comes is it that that's the day god wanted to heal them that's the day the anointing that could solve that problem stepped in there are men that step into places and they just shift atmospheres just like that but they never started that way i shared a verse of scripture that i would want to share with us the lord thank you david Dam. the lord gave me an instruction to repeat a few portions of what i shared in the meeting today with us and it will bless you luke 180 please luke chapter 1 verse 80 luke chapter 1 verse 80 this was our first prayer point yesterday at the conference and i want to establish it again and then we will pray luke chapter 1 media please help us i want us to pray tonight luke chapter 1 verse Are you there the first four words please if you're a christian one two read one more time one more time put your name where there is child there ready one to go so men can grow so men can grow the problem is not where i am i know i may not be so anointed now I know I am barren of understanding but the Bible reveals to us that there is a possibility in the spirit where men can lead their current spiritual level to a pedestal that is higher and the child John the Baptist grew he was ordained a prophet from prophecy but he was born a child and the child grew when I found this scripture I jumped I said so men can grow once upon a time i was not here i grew meaning there are levels i should get to that i'm not yet there i can grow growth is a secret growth is a provision in the body that translates men into limitless possibilities i can grow and the child john grew to become a prophet and the child naive barring of any sensory perception into the realm of the spirit no prophetic acumen and the child grew men can grow i'm not hearing god now you can grow i'm not anointed now i can grow my company is nothing to write home about it can grow my marriage is nothing to write home about it can grow my home is full of children who are disturbing they will grow growth is a mystery that when you understand you know there is hope and the child grew and eni that little ministry that was meeting on the floor grew to what it is now and koinonia is growing 10 years from now when we stand before the nations and we look at the photos of today as excited as we are about today we will nod and say that's david dam and they say who that guy is shaking the nations and david dam grew. ah look at mama look at femi promise these guys are just shaking nations in different territories and you will watch the pictures and see them sitting down and they and they will see some of you who are seated now 
as if you don't know anything about the anointing when they hear and say my god that is the woman of god whose crusades are packed full everywhere she's the one can you see her face in that picture and the woman grew. men can grow into the anointing men can grow into limitless possibilities in the spirit the challenge is not where you are the challenge is do you want to grow there was a day this guy when he joined the worship team he could not play keyboard like this he challenged himself his music director and his leaders challenged him and he decided to grow now when i learned how to play keyboard I don't think this guy had laid his hand on a keyboard. I began to play keyboard 1994, 94, 95, but I refused to grow. So although it's that long, where I stopped in the growth is still where I am today. You can be born again for donkey years, but the peg you gave God is still where he will faithfully stand and wait for you. You can be ministry, and the highest miracle you will ever see is headache because that's where you stopped the moment you got to that level of your anointing you graduated yourself awarded yourself and held a convocation for yourself but there are those who even at phd they say we are still undergraduates lord we are staying with you when i hear men like benny Hinn saying i still want more of his anointing i say my god more of what after shaking nations yet some of us are already here bragging in our arrogance oh i prophesied to sister so 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 it came to pass you think that's what you are going to use to shift nations you are joking and the child i want to show you that men don't just happen and work strong in spirit but the system is this he was in the desert he was in the place of training for David, it was the cave of Adullam. Listen, please hear me. I taught in the conference where we went to on the coming revival. And I mean, I think some of you need to get our external ministration. Sometimes I wish that I carry all of you along. And uh, because those meetings are usually very glorious meetings, very epochal teachings. And I taught yesterday on what we call the travail, the mystery of seasons, the mystery of the dealing of God in a man's life that brings the anointing the anointing does not come just because you want it the anointing is like a certificate that is given to you at the end of a season of being dealt with god and i want to share just a few parts of it and then we'll pray i want us to pray i'll just spend a few minutes and then we'll pray tonight fill me up till i overflow i want to run over I want to run over, fill me up, till I overflow, I want to go fill me up, fill me up, till I Hallelujah. Please sit down. When a believer, listen to me, let me teach you. Let me show you how people grow and become matured in the spirit. Men do not become matured in the spirit just by going to church. There is a step there. But there is a system. Listen to me, please. God's system of working with men. There are seasons of your life. Watch this when you will pass through what we call the travail jesus said something very interesting john chapter 16 please give it to us quickly media john chapter 16 verse 21 jesus was teaching on the ministry of the holy spirit and he said something that is very interesting 
if you're a Christian and it's projected and you can see it, please I want you to read it. One, two, read. Why? Stop. This is strange. I said it yesterday and I want to repeat it here. Some travails are because your time has come. It's not because you are out of alignment with God's system. Jesus is teaching a woman comes to a point in her life where she's in travail. The travail is not because she hated God. The travail is because her time has come. Many immature believers will say, ah, the travail is a sign that she's missing out on God somewhere. The Bible says because her hour is come. Do you know there are things that happen to people's lives simply because seasons have come? Not because you are out of sync with God. Seasons have come. Follow me. But as soon as she's delivered of the child, the reason for her travail, not a child, the child, the very object for which the sorrow came, the Bible says she remembered no more the anguish. For joy that a man is born into the world. But until then, there is a contention. Please listen to me. Many pastors have tried to preach what I'm telling you away. To tell believers nothing like that happens. I, I, I love the body of Christ, but brothers and sisters, I tell you this by the authority of the grace of Christ given to me. I know how men become anointed. Don't sit down and allow people just fool you into thinking one day an extreme dimension of the anointing will come. You are really joking. There is a system and the caption of that system is called the travail. I will tell you why these seasons come. They must come. You never pray them away. You only pray for grace to pass through them. The praying and saying they should not come is saying I do not want to enter that realm. I don't care who you are. I don't care how you love God. Jesus went through a season where he said, Father, if it be thy will, if it's possible, let's renegotiate how this thing will happen. But he quickly remembered and said, nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. Seasons. Abraham waited 25 solid years embarrassingly painful his servants had children and he did not have any do you know what it means to respect a man who does not have results while you the subordinate has it that's what Abraham went through he didn't just go through barrenness he went through the shame and the pain yet he waited it's in the system of God and it's how he builds men and brings them into authentic power. The generals of faith walked that way. Our generation is running away from it. And we keep bragging and prophesying in arrogance. We are going to do more than Smith Wigglesworth. You go and read their history. And you will see a track record. There is not one of them I know that escaped this. Not one. Not one of them. There is a season of travail. Because your hour is gone. How many people want to start ministry without going through this? And they crash land and make a fool out of themselves. There is what qualifies you to host God. There is what qualifies you to be a dispenser of the possibilities of God to nations. One of it is this. The mystery of the travail. Seasons that stretch your spiritual life from border to border seasons that stretch every part of your conviction mm. someone is getting blessed fill me up till I overflow I wanna run I wanna run one more time fill me up fill me up let me tell you the benefit of the dealings of God. 
the first advantage of the dealings of God is that the dealings of God with a man produces alignment it produces yieldedness and it produces a track record in the spirit never forget this the dealings of God the spirit of man cannot align to God by default that destiny must come under a system that will compel alignment a system in ancient times they had a way they made the anointing oil right the olive oil they would take the olive plants and put them on something that looks like a threshing floor and put a heavy object upon it and someone will hold it and begin to turn it clockwise and the pressure mounted on that olive begins to squeeze out the oil the oil will drip out together with particles impurities but the man for the joy of the oil will not even mind the cry let me tell you God loves you too much to let your tears deceive him don't think he plans to end that season you must drink that cup in full I know what I'm saying does not look pleasant I show you the path to glory there is a relationship between death and glory there is a relationship between death and glory you will never be able to access glory without death verily verily I say unto you except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and dies it no you don't just speak to nations and doors open I'm in Christ you are joking you are really joking that ignorance is a sign that there's something you have not even seen because scripture is prophetic you need the Holy Ghost holy men were moved by the Spirit so only the Holy Spirit can interpret what he wrote there are three reasons why we go through seasons of travail let me give it to us quickly number one the seasons of travail in a man's life listen they they are they create experiences that give you a personal revelation of who God is the first advantage of seasons of travail is a personal revelation of who God is personal revelation there's too much theoretical knowledge about God in the body of Christ so many people they know the God that this person said people come to sing special numbers are you clapping for my Jesus is that what you give my God a foreign and a strange incense rising you must go through seasons the first advantage of the seasons of travail is they break out every sense of falsehood and theory and help you know who God is for yourself no longer the God of Joshua Selman you encounter him every name that God was named was an experience a season introduced that dimension of him what is the name you have given God based on your experience if you were asked to never call God by any name in the Bible has your experience given him a name that you can relate with you call him the name of another man's experience show me a name like a Jimmy can have a secret name for hope hope can have a secret name for a Jimmy Aaron can have a secret name for his wife I want you to show me a name that your experience with God has brought that only you can call someone else does not understand but two of you know I'll show you why many people do not have convictions in the body of Christ they know the God of another person they do not know him for themselves God's ultimate desire is not only that men will introduce him to you but that they serve as ushers a time must come you must have a track record and say I know him I know whom I have believed I know hmm. Job 42 from verse 5 to 8 Job was rich he talked about God he was a God fearing man he gave sacrifices but a time came in the life of Job he could not explain the predicaments in his life everything went haywire his entire life crashed and in the end this is what Job said read it please one to read I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear but now my eyes have seen you I had 
Joshua Selman when he was talking about you I heard him say you can heal the sick I said amen but now that they told me I am SS I need to know the healer now now that they told me that I, I am barren I tried everything I went to every man of God they did their best Lord I locked the door me and you show me something about your glory church history is full of men who had encounters when they closed the door at everything and say Lord show me something I'm tired of hearing the God of someone else and an explanation I cannot relate with show me the song that has come out of your experience with God worshipers you have been singing Kotka's song you've been singing Thai Tribet song show me a song that came out of your tears you thought you will not make the next day and he gave you a song every time you are in a challenge that song comes it may not minister to others but it's your song it's not a song for congregation it's a song for your secret place a song that reminds you of who God is let me tell you you know why people certain people in the body of Christ become unshakable and immovable it's not because they are blind it's not because they are not human they have an experience with God that is higher than every other thing. I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear, but now I have had an encounter with you. Job summoned God in chapter 38 and said, God, you need to come and reveal yourself to me. And when God showed up, God said, Job, I've been hearing you talk since chapter 1. I've just been keeping quiet. You've been making a lot of noise like you know me. Now let me talk to you. Where were you when I founded the earth? When I laid the foundations? When the morning stars sang? And Job said, my God, I was never taught that there is such a thing. He said, declare if you have understanding. There are healing evangelists who stepped into the level of creative miracles when they sat down and prayed Kenneth E. Hagin he was the guinea pig to his healing ministry dying of a deformity and nobody could heal him I told you about my story I've had fungal infection that ate my head they said hair will not grow on my head again I know what oppression looks like when I'm laying hands on people that memory sponsors the release of the anointing there is something that sponsors compassion. It's not just because I'm kind-hearted. No. When you stand and you see someone's legs eaten by worms and is smelling, you are attempting to go, but you remember an experience. Ha! Fill me up. Till I overflow. I want to run. I want to run. to students have you seen have you seen a final year student advising a new student who is just entering he will tell you sorry sir they gave me a course I'm trying to do change of department and the boy cannot sleep and the final year student is laughing because to that guy is a mount he, he's having a mountain can they change my course uh, can they do this sorry sir how do they do it in ABU and you laugh I say my brother there's more to come you better relax you have not seen the guy in the department you are going to and then she enters the office of the man and for the first time in her life a man would blast and insult her he said you are stupid if you think you're a prostitute I'm not for you go out and she leaves never had she been insulted like that then you find out others who live in that realm every day they insulted them till they submitted their project it's called growth and the child grew 
no matter how you sympathize with that boy leave him sometimes don't pity people too much to cover seasons that will afford them opportunity to grow there, there is sometimes you can go through so much pain you want to over pamper people and in doing it you don't give them the opportunity to know god leave them alone every day you are giving him to 200 naira one day tell him look i've done my best for you go and find out and he would think he would call him later he say abba i know sam sam will call me he can't allow me to die like this i saw him cooking yam and then you, the holy spirit will tell you don't call him by nine o'clock he will start browsing the secret of prosperity enter now something is happening to him don't stop it treasure leads people to the anointing When a man starts a ministry, he will criticize every man of God. What is there with crowd? Wait and see. It's just because we need a venue. When he has a venue and for two years, he will first deny. Then later he will look at it and say, well, there may be something. After three years, he will be the first to sit down in the pastor's conference. When they say, I prophesy open door, he will be on his knees before the prophecy comes. Pressure brought him to an encounter there are people who are too stubborn pharaoh was like that pharaoh did not have an experience with god he only knew the god of the hebrews one day god said i will reveal to you who i am moses let me use you as a tool go and show this man and he said ah, is he just parting the red sea they left him face to face when he killed his child he said i did it me god let your witches bring him back to life and all the gods of egypt could not do it and he said the God of Moses, he is God. Listen, brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. You need an experience with God that will give you the audacity to move through life. We chicken out too much and we look at life strange as if it's because you have not gone through. I want you, wherever you thrill your experiences, go and gather them this night create a basket in the spirit call it my testimony and call it my ladder to the place of the anointing store it back i know a and b happened to you that was not favorable but the bible says for we know those who have not gone through it do not know but us we know that all things all things all things all things there are things i've gone through in my life that make me look at mountains like mold hills i tell you i don't even pray about them what for it's a waste of time i already have worked with god enough to know that there is a way out i don't have to disturb him some prayers are a symbol of faith and faithlessness and ignorance it's because you do not understand the systems of god a track record that track record produces strength and stamina Proverbs 24 verse 10. If you fall in the day of battle, it says your strength is small. I see a lot of believers who do not have stamina. You, you see how malleable they are. Everything bends them. Under pressure to explain everything to everybody. No, it's not like that. It's not like I'm a bad person. Who cares? There is a system you go with God. That you are governed by posterity, conscience and the fear of God. Any other person can go places. I look at the body of Christ and there's too much pressure to defend our ego. Let, let them not say it's me that carried this, you know. See, everybody watch. I'm, uh -uh. Let them think what they want to think. You have gone through a lot with God to know that honor is a mantle. It's not just what you fight for. If it's not on your life, no matter how innocent you are, you will not be honorable. Do you have that track record? Please, I'm telling you this so that when you go back home, you will kneel down and thank God for what made you cry yesterday. Something that brought tears out of your eyes has now opened you up to enough room to know God. Listen, listen. I wish what I were saying were a lie. I would have just told you sorry. But what I'm saying is so true. It's the foundation for authentic power. Are we together? every time they talk of blessing you you think of your uncle you think you have faith you really don't have faith 
then one day your uncle leaves you and says from today uh, you are a man how old did you say you are you say yes, I'm 23 I'm, I'm still a child he says no you are a man from today you fend for yourself for one month you will see that there's no result meaning somebody's result was covering you corporate success can be dangerous because you can hide under it thinking you are making it worship team is doing well are you doing well you many people hide under corporate success we are anointed i know we are men of god i know life will separate you and demand from you you have to prove that you are intrinsically valuable and the key is to pass through these seasons before i continue i want you to pray one minute from your heart and say lord the se let the seasons come i only ask for grace i'm no longer afraid i've been running away from it and fast forwarding my breakthrough but lord i summon courage uh -uh. if it is hunger let me go through it till i catch the key for wealth i'm tired of begging up and down lord let these seasons bring me to the anointing i know i know oh the bible says after two days he will revive us and on the third day he will raise us up are you praying koinonia lord let them come they may be painful but i open up my spirit and i receive the voice of god through those experiences they may be embarrassing but lord i need an encounter i need to know you for myself Are you praying? I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear, but now I know that challenges do not kill. I had men say it, but I know now. Hallelujah. Listen. This is what makes your sermons powerful because you are speaking from a depth of conviction. When you preach from pain, you don't preach and you are looking whether you are right or wrong. Ah, I hope this thing I'm saying, that's theory. You went to do browsing, copy and paste. But when you are preaching your life and your pain, blood is dripping from your life that testifies that you know what you are saying. You are not advising people you are telling them the way out whether they believe or not is their cup of tea men of conviction are men who have pain they have scars that are, let me tell you a scarless man is an anoint is, is, is a man who is barren of the anointing your scar is where the anointing is rubbed on it's not rubbed where there is no scar the place of scar is the point of application the balm in Gilead is not applied to a place where there is no wound. That anointing. When Ambrobas hit someone and the Samaritan man came, he rubbed oil on the places of the wounds. Everywhere that he did not have wound, there was no need for anointing. Don't rub your pain. There is glory coming out there. Don't rub your financial struggles. There is an unction coming up there. Don't rob your barrenness. Let me tell you, let all the naysayers preach. You will find them after Koinonia. They will still tell you I'm talking nonsense to you. You will still hear them, but you continue. You are going through it for them. The day they will need your miracle, by then you will be anointed enough to help them. Listen, there were people who said things about me many years. They never saw my face. They do not even know me many years later they would come to meet me hearing about joshua selman they never knew never knew and now they saw me and compassionately like joseph ministering to his brother i would minister to them while i was going through what would give me the anointing to help them the devil was using them to criticize and talk but god said keep moving just set your face like a flint sometimes silence is the way to speak silence is the only way to speak in certain seasons I'm speaking to you 
from the depth of my heart tonight. You catch the key I'm sharing with you. You catch an unction that will change your life. You are two people conscious. It has stopped you from entering your... What will they say? There is a way you go through something. I say, let them say the trouser is torn. No problem. You, you have gone... To, this, this trying to live your life for people. You just tell yourself it's over. I'm done with it. I, I, I know my Redeemer lives. If it does not bless me, let me die. But doing it just for my reputation is over. I'm tired of trying to just be nice for people. An experience. So you want to worship God and you are watching. That guy I like is looking at me. Maybe my clothes will roll. Maybe they will see my inner wares. There is a way you go through fire. And not believe you will come out. Before they raise the song, you will lie down as if you are sleeping and start rolling on the ground. Roll like a mad person. And people will say, Ah, ah, David, why are you rolling this way? And he say, I'm rolling to the God. I'm dancing to the God who took the kingdom. I never knew I would be a king. God took me. Now you just inherited joy. I be your son's daughter. You don't know what happened between me and your father. God took an anointing from your father and brought it to me. Fill me up till I overflow. I want to run. I want to run. everyone here you need a personal experience with God listen I speak especially for the men you cannot live a lifetime of conviction without encounters you will bend to your convictions left right and center because the devil will throw everything at you you must have a story in your life that you can tell your children and say in 1971 I thought I would be eaten by this disease, but I'm standing strong. Satan, where were you in 1971? If I didn't die then, I would not die now. We have boastful confessions in the body of Christ without an experience that sponsors our conviction. Oh, if my ministry does not grow in one year, let it be that I'm not called of God. And you are there ranting and speaking nonsense. The key is not English. The key is not Rema. The key is a track record. When blood drips from you, then the oil comes through it. The anointing is for the place of pain. I'm speaking to someone here. is for the place of pain no scars no anointing no scars no grace no scars no testimony no scars no unction that's how it works you can preach another message to yourself but I tell you if it is power you look for I show you the way it comes. A track record. The cave of Adulam. Seasons of pain. Seasons of travail. As soon as Zion travails, as soon as she begins, the contractions that comes to a woman is not a sign that she's a stupid woman. It will make her uncomfortable. She will get up and be walking around. When she goes to the hospital, they will make her do exercise. She will do stupid things. Her husband will be there. She will act as if she's out of her sense. A baby is coming. When that baby comes, so come visitors everywhere for the sake of the baby. You are gathered here today because somebody did not allow this training to pass. You are gathered here today because there is blood dripping from someone's altar. We, who will gather in your own meeting because of the price you are paying? You think it will happen? Something for nothing is witchcraft. You are joking. There is a track record. With all the greed in you, 
with all the pride and the self-centeredness you want the anointing no sir you will pass through that furnace i guarantee you i guarantee you while you are crying god will only supply grace he will not take you out but if you can walk and finally step out at the other end you will be a vessel unto honor it is at that point you will think a thing and God will do it. You have not prayed. You are thinking, God, I think I need, I need 50,000. Someone says, God said I should give you. It's a realm. You don't claim it. You qualify for it. There are things I've, I'm seeing in my life now. I wanted them many years. But I did not know that the track record had not created room for them. God kept telling me forget about these things just keep walking with me today I wonder I didn't even know when they came the track record. oh Lord make me a kingdom financier and then God tells you to sew all your clothes and everything and then people pity you you feel like an idiot you work so hard and God tells you to give it away and God said, you say, but God, why are you not doing it for someone else? I thought you said you wanted the wealth mantle. You think it's just about wearing designers? You are joking. There is a furnace of affliction. You make others rich and remain poor. A season comes, God will say, the season is full. Your cup is full and your heavens are open. And men say, where is this coming from? It's a mystery. See, these are the men you talk about them you bring curses on yourself believe me when i tell you this thing there are men you speak about them literally god will, they don't curse you their covenant the blood that has come out from their life is still on an altar it, it has a throne in heaven this is what produces miracles these things you are seeing this is not by faith it's a covenant god vows to back you as far as this is concerned so you can go to the nations you don't need to ask them whether they believe God in the church you just need to go you carry your altar you carry your covenant and then you bless the world do you have an encounter with God do you know him not Jesus of Nazareth do you know him do you know him I cried for a revelation of him not just a vision of Jesus an experience so when I say God is a good God something in me should be able to explain it when I say God is a deliverer I should be able to say how many are they that rise up against me many are they which say where is his help I should be able to say but thou O Lord art a shield for me you're my glory my glory not just koinonia's glory my glory i know you can lift my head i went through hell men said bury him but you brought me out that was david for you david was a man who knew god you see why he knew god he went through more pains than any king he went through more disappointment to an extent that god said you will not build me a temple he would have been offended he said god i know you too much I know you too much to complain. I will gather the money for my son. Speaking to you. Too many believers who don't know God. We brag around thinking because we have little anointings here and there. Brother, you need a track record. That blood you are running away from must come out. No, it must come out. If it came out of the son of God, it must come out of his body. The sufferings of Christ and the glory that falls. I show you a virgin path that many people may never follow. They don't like it. They like the anointing. They like the charismatism. They like the influence. But they do not like the track record. A man can get to a level where if he prophesies to you and it's a mistake, God will make that mistake come to pass because there is a covenant he has tied his integrity to. So they can just look at you and say, be blessed. You have entered the creative dimension of your work with God. Where you don't just reveal things, you create them. It's a realm. It's a realm. 
I'm speaking to you from the depth of my heart. Not many men of God will teach you this thing I'm telling you. Because many people consider it to be the hallmark of their ministry. It's like a man coming to tell you bedroom secrets between you and the wife. No sensible married man will just carry anybody outside and come and tell you bedroom secrets. What I'm telling you now is the mystery responsible for any great man. Most men of God, I understand why they create a system and never share it. I don't think it's pride. They value the blood that drips from them. It takes love for you to hear what I'm teaching you. And you must love God to appreciate it. Just like there are some of you looking and saying, wow, this is very interesting. Look, if I were you, I would stop rushing my life. I really will stay with God. See, if you seek him, you will find him. We are not seeking him. We are seeking things around him. When fasting is still a problem, you are seeking him, you are joking. God will say, separate yourself two days. I want to talk with you. Ah, oh God, I beg, please. You are there. I bind that spirit. And I'm not talking of some hilarious things. After tonight's meeting, you say, I'm going 60 days. All that is religion. Because it's not directed. You will only starve yourself for nothing. Listen now. Number two. This will be probably one of the greatest messages you would have been heard in this 2016. If you work with what I'm teaching you, you will command results in a way that will scare you. Believe me. Remember, I gave us a scripture that is a verse of comfort and the child grieved. So you don't have to sit down and think some people were born like that. Nobody was born like that. And Jesus grew. John grew so you can grow. Benny Hinn grew. Kenneth Copeland grew. You must grow. You will not just become. You will grow. Number two. The second advantage of seasons of travail in our lives the second advantage is that it impacts upon your life understanding understanding a comprehension of the secrets of God listen there are secrets in God that only when you are the lowest point of your life you will see them there are things God has shared with me today I will know I, well let me not say no mortal man there is nobody that may ever get to hear it. you will not even believe it there are secrets that until you get to a level with God if it does not show even you yourself will not believe it listen we take truth from faith to faith there are mysteries that surround this kingdom that control results and power when you are there with God it affords him the opportunity to show you certain deep things that when you were high there you would not have believed but now that you are there you will hear understanding the comprehension of the secrets of God the Bible says the secret things belong to the Lord right the secrets of the Lord are with them that fear him and he will reveal his covenant. Look at me. <laughs> Read this Bible from Genesis to Revelation. I promise you, I promise you, there are things you will never see. Pain is a key in the spirit. There are doors that only pain can open. Believe me, brothers and sisters, believe me on this. There are times you go through seasons in your life. When you go through those seasons in your life, then certain scriptures open up. The Lord is my shield and my salvation. Who shall I be afraid of? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom? And it now makes sense. Ah. I now see 
better is one day in your house than a thousand elsewhere i rather be a doorkeeper all of a sudden it will be as if you have written books but now you are seeing things there are things i've seen this year that i literally had to stop and i started crying i said my god there are things i said by the spirit in koinonia teachings that not even me had come into the fullness of the comprehension of it i have looked at them ah, psalm 54 verse 7 for he had delivered me out of all trouble and my eye had seen his desire on my enemies do you have an experience that can explain that a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side none shall harm you only will you stand and see have you seen that That's why the name of Jesus doesn't make any, any impact for many people. We shout Jesus like a champ. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the glorious name of Jesus. It's not in English. That name reacts to something. See, let me tell you. There are men that are deeply respected in the realm of the spirit. Satan knows what makes him respect men. It's not English. When you see a man walking in the realm of the spirit, full of scars, blood dripping down as a symbol of his sacrifice to communicate his desire to let the multifaceted dimensions of God be hosted in him. They are the kinds that he reproved kings for their sake, saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. They are the kinds that are unkillable. They will match a charm and pass. Even the charm knows it will not work. It's not try. Maybe I, I'm, I'm trying to make the charm work. No, no. It's a realm. That is the realm where they can look and say, no sickness can touch me. You know, we mock ourselves in the body of Christ. Oh, I, I mean, I, I can't be sick. And we're just joking. Do you know at what level in the spirit that word becomes activated in your life? Every prophecy have, has levels. Just like in our environment, there, there are certain conditions for certain things to happen. Don't just speak because you saw it in the Bible. Are we together? And so there are so many men of God today. They carry their hands, lay it on sick people and say, I'm anointed. And after five years, they carry the diseases on the people. Not by airborne disease. The mystery of transference because they do not know that you must truly sustain a higher potential the bible says lay hands suddenly on no man lest thou be a partaker just by laying hands you can partake listen in your walk with god there are secrets god will show you they are not for public consumption they are not doctrines they are secrets he reveals to you to guide the delivery of the grace he has put upon you it will mislead people when these secrets become public not necessarily because they are demonic but it is a unique dealing of god to you william branham had a secret with god where his angel will appear when he saw that angel in a healing meeting it was a sign to him that the prophetic mantle was activated then he would begin to heal and prophesy now if you sit down and walk like that you will get into witchcraft something else will appear to you are we together now because that was a unique dealing a portion for kenneth e hagen it is in the secret place as you walk with god you begin to learn certain anointings he will train you with certain sensations just for you to know what kind of anointing is in the building now you can't write a book on it you will bring people into error he will show you when the healing anointing is there he will use your body parts as keys to symbolize to you you will your your organs of interaction with the spirit will be heightened they are personalized dealings with the spirit so when you come for a meeting you stand near someone 
you can know that there is witchcraft at work not just because you saw a spirit a code was given to you in the secret place and God says whenever you have this sensation is the presence of a demon spirit for someone else that sensation can mean breakthrough is coming it's like jam questions you see how they mix them your question one is someone's question 10 that's how it is in the spirit he may you may feel heat in your hand and say it's healing anointing no it is your secret place that gives you your own question paper and God tells you for you this experience means breakthrough is coming Oh, 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 that's how I minister to people. Sometimes you see me laying hands on people and sometimes I can just stand. There are, there are things. Your body becomes a superconductor of his glory. You can feel the impulses of God's desire. He can move in any way he wants with you. But we never remain in the secret place until we get that depth of understanding. I don't just mean understanding of quoting scriptures. The secret meaning to truths in scripture. You can stay with God and the moment you see someone coming you know that this man will destroy me is you didn't have a vision there is a dealing with God there is an impulse you know that this car is going to have accident I will come out it's not just out of fear hi why have I been feeling like a cow no 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 no, no. I'm not talking about that I'm talking about a sensation you get up and you can know my elder sister is in trouble. You were trained in the secret place. I show you mysteries. Now, physically, you just see men doing things. But I wish your eyes would be open in the spirit. They are like robots. Wires from eternity connected to different parts of them that communicate several impulses of the spirit. That's how sometimes I can know the exact point where the Holy Ghost will touch someone. I can stop my preaching and as I'm opening my mouth the anointing is touching the person it's a training it's not guessing you try doing it it's not guessing that level of precision comes in the secret when he visits you he tells you this is a key to this One of the things you will get still on point two is he will now reveal to you the unique role you have to play in his end time agenda. No, 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 no. You have to get to that point where God now tells you, look, David, I'm come. I have passed you through seasons. And then he tells you, David, I'm, this was what it was all about. You're going to take the worship the healing power of God through worship to the nations that is your mandate downloaded it's not just the issue of talent alone it's the issue of the seasons in your life bringing you to a place where he now gives you the blueprint and he says David Dan, you will be a mistral you will speak my purposes to nations and while he's downloading it you are there tiny you but an experience has qualified you for a mantle something comes on your life you may not even realize when it came all of a sudden you will find out that you go for a meeting and all of a sudden you are worshiping and the prophetic starts manifesting dramatic results and healings all of a sudden someone calls you and says sorry we're in uk we just listened to your album we are ready to pay for everything you have been fasting for open door you even try to join a site that will help to facilitate your travel the door was not open in the spirit now it has been opened the nations will call you I want to show you how men rise in the spirit when you rush physically whereas the door is closed in the spirit 
you will frustrate yourself and go around and come back to the same point your unique role as you are seated here looking at me can you stand up right now and say apostle I know what my role is in God's end time agenda I'm an intercessor my experiences with God has revealed this to me that he has called me to through the ministry of intercession but the purposes of God in the lives of men and nations have you found it I was in Kano preaching at a PFN um, conference a few months ago a Jimmy, I met a woman for the first time in my life who finishes her Bible every month she said sometimes in 11 days she finishes by word of knowledge I called her out even me I don't finish my Bible like that read your Bible and finish in a month you know how hard it is to read these things that's to tell you it's not an ordinary book you have finished books more for luminous than this but what is it about this that you cannot just finish it's not a storybook when the spirit of God comes upon it there is a lot here there is a reaction to your spirit that will force you to not rush it there is a level of building you must have with God to be able to read your Bible and finish it this woman finishes her Bible every month without fail it's something I've not done I don't know if there's any man I, I may be wrong but I don't know who finishes your Bible every month cover to cover then start again but here is a quiet woman it's a track record with God you will be surprised something happened to her life maybe her child died maybe she lost her job and she said Lord since nothing is working in my life let me pick my Bible all of a sudden she stumbled across the mantle of her destiny and now this woman is an intercessor when I saw her I was almost saying Ma, I can pay your house rent if need be to just include me to be part of your prayer point I have met a few women a few women maybe I think there, there should be one here one mama they believe that part of their life's assignment is to pray for me constantly man that is the greatest gift you can give me you can buy me a car you can buy me a house those things are mundane but to have men and women when I'm when I'm I'm just moving around traveling by air whatever I'm sleeping somebody's awake constantly touching heavens for me it's a mystery but there are men like that there are others who are financial apostles they are the ones who will fund God's end time agenda there are ladies here your prophetic destiny is tied to your marriage that's why God is so strict with you other women can marry anybody but for you you are like Esther so because of that there are certain things that must happen in your life God will not allow certain things to happen you will be saying God but why me he says because Esther must marry Ahasuerus for Israel to be free and so it will not just be anyhow oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. about your life can be connected to prophecy but these seasons will reveal them to you every man that tries to ask you out he just leaves it may not all be demonic it's because you have been separated there is a mantle on you you have been separated you may not know but I say it again Esther must marry Ahasuerus so that Israel will be free it's not about marriage and children the Bible does not discuss the children of Ahasuerus and Esther it's not necessary Haman is a beast that wants to destroy the, the Israel of God and it will take an Esther so God will separate you other people may be moving God will say for you stay here oh God where are you going with me the secret place will reveal it 
so that you stop judging everything as delay oh god i'm going through delay in my life all my colleagues are married do you not see what is upon you do you not see that there is a mantle and that's what controls the things that happen around your life while you are seated i want you to pray in one minute and say lord what is my role in your end time agenda make it clear please pray please pray shabatakata Land why do you visit me in the night with songs of worship where are you going with this melody so called is it just to watch an album or is there more where am I going with these songs of worship what is the meaning of all these visions you wake me up in the night I can't sleep sound you are showing me things to what end oh God where are you driving my destiny to? Why am I so passionate about finances? Is it just to prosper? Or is there more? Is there a mantle upon my life that must release a resource for God's end time agenda? I thought it was all about business. I thought it was all about wealth. But could there be that there is a prophetic anointing upon it. Show me my role. Why have you given me influence? Why do I meet great men everywhere I go to? Why do men of influence want to talk to me? Is there an anointing upon my life? Is there a mantle that will be used in this end time? Why have you given me unusual influence? Hallelujah. The third advantage for rounding up when all is said and done. You get to the place of the anointing. That was what it was all about. Listen to me. The pain is a journey. The pain is not an end. The pain is a door leading you somewhere. Finally, you get to that place where all is prepared. Your body has been prepared now to carry grace. Your marriage has been prepared to fulfill God's agenda. You get to a point where God tells you all the relocation was all about the anointing. All the activity was all about the anointing. You've been a graduate for 15 years, no job. It was all about the anointing. All about the anointing. I seek an agenda that is bigger than your needs. Thank you for aligning yourself. It was painful, but now that you have gotten here, then you will encounter grace. The ancient mystery that came upon ordinary men and turned them into signs and wonders. That is not just an ordinary impartation of falling down and standing up. Your spirit is now programmed to begin to host possibilities. Possibilities. That is the realm where your voice becomes like the voice of God. You speak and it rattles the foundations of men's destiny. It's not about oratory. There is an authorization that comes upon your life on the strength of this sacrifice. Listen to me. There are two dimensions of receiving impartation. The first is a direct impartation from God because there are certain anointings that are new and your secret place will be the first to introduce that possibility of God. So there is no physical vessel carrying it to release it to the earth. You will be the first to enter a covenant with God that will reveal that possibility. Listen, please look at me. Not every mantle that should be on earth is already on earth. 
not every mantle that should be on earth was recorded here in the Bible. There are mantles that are still yet to come. There are graces that are still yet to come. The gift of the Spirit is not nine. Only nine were revealed. There are many more. There are many more expressions of the Spirit seeking for men. Let me tell you, it is important you understand this. There are many other possibilities of God. The anointing is like rain. It moves from Asia to Africa seeking for vessels that are worthy enough for its landing and it doesn't find any and it goes to the continent may Africa keep it because there are certain graces there are things God has been wanting to do on earth but the anointing moves like a plane not finding a place to land the same way demon spirits go around restless that's how the, the certain dimensions of God's mantle are restless they are looking for bodies a body has thou prepared for me when you go through this season then it comes oh for when it comes upon you then you will begin to manifest things that you will never believe possibilities you will change things that's when you can look at someone's jump score and say what did you get it says 141 and you say I change it he goes to check and sees 276. No, no, no. At that level, they are not clapping for a man of God. You have represented a system that brings the possibilities of God to people. I'm showing you how to be a blessing. It's not just by giving people sewing machine. You must carry an anointing. God keeps telling me every time, son, if you will give me more room, there is still so much I can do with you. You know, sometimes when he says these things, I just start weeping because I just sit and say, my God, so there is more. There is more. There are challenges that some of you may have that we have not yet accessed the level of grace to reveal Christ to you in that dimension. We can choose to camp around this mediocrity or still press and say there is more there is more when people act as if they have arrived I am shocked so a direct encounter in Exodus chapter 4 Moses had a direct encounter his mantle came directly from God no one had done what he was about to do and so God had to give him the impartation directly but the second dimension is impartation through the ministry of men we are not strange to this understanding I've taught it here and there and I've taught you that men are systems in the realm of the spirit they are not just human beings they represent systems let me reiterate what I said in one of the meetings watch this I told you that spiritual growth is through relationship hear me but kingdom advancement is through covenant if you did not understand in that time Maybe you have grown enough to get it now. Let me repeat it. I said that our walk with God, spiritual growth is based on relationship. But the advancement of the kingdom, God's end time agenda is based on covenant. And the second law is that God reveals himself dimensionally. He reveals portions of himself and commits portions of himself to people. But the system with which he brings that about is that when God intends to reveal himself in a way, he must find a man. When he finds a man, listen, he enters a personal covenant, not Old Testament, not New Testament. A personal covenant with that man. And that covenant with that man becomes his authorization for revealing that dimension of him to that dispensation nobody in that dispensation will encounter that dimension of christ ignoring what that individual represents you must pass through him or a tribe that is connected to him for you to enter that dimension so when you look at the healing ministry on earth today for instance you trace it down to different men of god it finally lands on benihim he is the living system 
that represents God's healing power to the nations today. And until Benihin goes to be with the Lord, no matter how anointed you are, you will still make reference to his covenant with God that represents that territorial dimension of healing. Are you getting the point now? The word of faith, you go down to people like David Ipiome, you know, Bishop Oyedeko, and it lands finally on Kenneth Copeland. He is the living system that represents the communication of God's ministry of faith on earth. But there are much more. There are other possibilities God wants to reveal. He has not yet found a man who can align to reveal that possibility because the heavy persecution that will come on that man for being the first to introduce that dimension. Listen, let me tell you. No, it's not something I say in the open. When you understand this mystery, then you will know the reason why you must be prepared to carry the anointing. The anointing will bring certain grave, grave levels of hostility in your life that if you are not built by God, you will die. Men who introduced all of the movements we know in the body of Christ, some of them, it was until they died. Many years after they had died, other people who were the fruits of their mantle stumbled across their books and they said my god 50 years ago this man wrote this now he's dead do you know there are many things kenneth e hagin wrote and many of the generals is now the church is understanding them we read them and even edited them but now we are seeing that ah this is it many years ago john g lake said you know the casting out of devils also produces manifestations they insulted him and they said manifestations are only impartations john lake knew what he was seeing he was describing a dimension of the deliverance ministry that was not yet known but right now it is like the last 10 years that that ministry just started coming to africa but they were men with the eyes of the eagle they had seen it do you know there are many things some of you here you go back to your notebooks and read messages you listened to in 2001 that's when you will scream and say do you mean i was under this anointing and i did not recognize it encounters see if you want to move more than having an anointing to becoming a spiritual system it's not a very attractive life your entire life is a lonely one the the course of life that everyone follows you may never have the privilege to enjoy it there are certain men on earth today who carry an anointing called a kingmaker anointing i never knew there was such an anointing until god taught me let me tell you the price for carrying a kingmaker anointing you will never enjoy what the anointing carries through you but you will make others have it there are men like that their churches will never be large yet they will produce the largest churches on earth their crusades may never have signs and wonders but they will transfer the deepest miracle working anointing it's a kind of anointing if you don't know it you will say they don't have the results you are looking for be careful there are dimensions it's a kind of grace paul said so then death works in us paul was never married in his lifetime but he taught married people how to live that's the kingmaker anointing it brings you into a realm that the person himself does not have the privilege to ever enjoy it like the woman who spoke to me a woman who probably had never held hundred thousand of her money but she said my son forever walk upon gold that's a kingmaker anointing it will be many years in my life walking with God I will now realize that so this is what was released that mama never knew she carried it only God knows where she is on earth now maybe she's seated as we are talking right now she's trusting God to raise 200 naira for her but she has produced a wonder through the anointing in her life there are men you ignore they carry things they are not authorized to benefit from it but they will give it to you Ah, there are mysteries in this kingdom there are mysteries in this kingdom so a woman who never had a good home 
never had a good home but there is a mantle upon her when she blesses your marriage that pain is what authorized that anointing to work in her life so you can see all her children haywire seven children they are all touts and you say this woman must be irresponsible but she may be the greatest prayer warrior you ever know there is a woman who lost her husband her marriage failed when she was 20 called Anna the prophetess for 64 years she was in the temple interceding you would think what kind of prophetess are you that you could not solve your problem that was a kingmaker anointing when Jesus was born he said my eyes have seen the salvation of Israel now Lord let me go to rest all I was waiting for I may not experience his ministry in my lifetime but my job was to bring him here we're going to pray brothers and sisters it's time for us to move to the next level spiritually the anointing is what we need to bring the love of Jesus to nations how God anointed Jesus Jesus said the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me doctors you need the anointing of the spirit if you treat patients with what you were taught alone you will watch many patients die in your hands you need more than injection and, and, and stethoscope you need a grace businessmen if all you think you want to do is real estate and make money and do all of this you are going to be in trouble because there are forces you need the anointing you need the anointing to marry you need love to marry foolishly and anyhow but you need the anointing for your marriage to strike a chord for Esther to marry a Hazarus so that Israel will be saved Esther needed an anointing not just beauty there was a kind of ointment she rubbed on herself for one year before she became married you will need more than reading if your education is to bring the glory of God you can read to get 4.69 but you need more than that God will ask you to vow a vow and say for as long as I live I will use my certificate to bless you and you say yes you will answer two questions and still get an A because it was never about your effort you have a deal with God so the covenant from that sacrifice has kicked into play a man who vowed to fail you and his life will go haywire in one week not because you are so prayerful he's the keeper of his covenant this was part of what I preached in the conference and the Lord said I should bring it home and speak to us again brothers and sisters the time you carry the anointing that can solve men's problems truly you have earned the right to be a blessing stop sympathizing with people you have done it too much press 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 like the woman with the issue of blood let them say whatever they want to say but can you press through the crowd and carry something authentic so you thank God for not allowing you to start ministry yet you would have just been like any other man little signs and wonders 12 members today 20 tomorrow 5 next tomorrow then you now join the bandwagon of critics who are frustrated by they are not pressing listen stop trying to change things around you something on you is what will change everything around you stop trying to change things around you something on you something on you something on you favor will not come just because you know all the people favor will come because there is something on you that will call them are we together five minutes you are going to play worship for us I don't know whether you want to lie down whether you want to cry but for the next five minutes I'm leaving you and God alone I want you to flog it in a time of intense prayer and intercession if I see you joking and looking at me I'll come and hold your hands you are going to cry
cry to God and say, my life, my destiny. Lord, the unction for my destiny. You are alone. I'm going to be crying to God too. So it's a moment of intercession. Five minutes. Give us worship. Play. And everybody just cry to God.
Let this girl go now. Foul devil of darkness. Come out of her. Out. You're free in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand up. Let this girl go now. Thou foul devil. In the name that is above all names. Out you go. Out now. Come out of her. Out of her. Please make sure everyone is connecting. This has nothing to do with falling down. God is visiting people. Look at me. You, look at me. Just look at me. No, you don't need to come out. Just look at me. Look at me. Just keep your eyes looking at me. Let this girl go now. Foul devil of darkness. I come against you and against the infirmity. Come out of her. your night of visitation. Hold my hands. Come out of her! God is going to visit this whole family. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the thing of darkness. This is what God is showing me. I didn't even know I was pointing to family members. Hallelujah. Mommy, let me pray for you. Because this is, this is a demonic thing. Trying to affect your health. Please hold my hands. Mommy, please look at Please, if you can shout Jesus as loud as you can. Can you? Just as loud as you can. Go ahead.
name that is above all names. Please lay one hand on your chest. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. This is a curse of marital delay. Let her go. Now! Thank you, Jesus. Come out of her. Out of her. Come out. You're free. Same thing. Come out of her right now. Devil of darkness. You're leaving. I see you in the spirit. You're going. It's time for this family to step into a new level. Be free. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Any lump, lump in your breast, lump anywhere is going to live right now. Make sure you check yourself. Instant miracles of lumps. I, I saw it and the Lord told me it's time. I want to pray it right now. I told somebody to come out. I brought somebody from that room. Who is the person? I told that God will visit her. Not the woman. Do you know why I called you out? The Lord will wipe these tears that you're crying tonight. Are you listening to me? Just look at me. Roll away. Shame and reproach. Roll away. Shame and reproach. Give her a new beginning, oh God. Visit her family. I want to rebuke lumps right now. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is, this is God is helping people. There are people you've had lumps, multiple lumps in your breast. It's going to disappear right now. Hallelujah. Maybe we'll have a few. Let me tell something with this lady. You notice she's always coming out. I will see her afterwards. A literal human being appears to sleep with this girl. This is what is responsible. This is, this is, this is not just an issue of deliverance. This is an issue of help. This is a family thing. This is what the Lord is showing me. This is not just the devil coming. I mean, this is not in a dream. Uh -uh. You see, that's why whenever they come, these spirits leave her, but they don't go away. Early in the morning, they will reappear again. That's it. So, just, just let her be. God will set her free. Hallelujah. Are you ready, lumps? In the name of Jesus. Please, as soon as I pray for you, make sure you start checking yourself. Many of you will be shocked. It will look like magic. Maybe we'll take some testimonies here. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, every lump in your breast or any part of your body, your neck, your waist, wherever, right now, I command it to disappear. In the name of Jesus, I command you to leave. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Go ahead, begin to check yourselves. Come, bring that child. Can we have the mic, please? What's, 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 this, what's the issue? Help us with the mic, please. He has not been eating. Who brought him? Whose child is this? Where is his mother? If we are calling your child, Mama, please come. Let's save time. Huh? They came all the way from Kano. Yes, I asked them to come. You rejoice because you will know you will meet God tonight. Amen. Please, somebody hold this child because you too. Come out of her. Out. Hold this child, please. 
You are the first to be visited. All the way from Kano. That devil. This woman is supposed to die before the end of the year. I curse this spirit. Out right now. Out of her with a loud shout you are going. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What's wrong with the child? He has not been eating. So we take him to the hospital. Why did he have all this abnormality? The so, doctors. Madam, look at me. You are delivered. I don't know what it is that runs through your leg, but I'm seeing light. Power of God. Hallelujah. What happened to your child? Talk to us, please. Let's save time. I gave back to him normal. It was normal when I gave back to him. Okay. So when it was four months, we discovered that the bronca was enlarging. So we went to the hospital after the scanning. They said that there is water in the head. That water came. Water? Yes. That's hydrocephalus. So we need doctors. Who is a doctor here? They said he was going to undergo operation. Not student doctor. Eh? Okay, come. Thank you, sir. What did you say the name is? They say hydrocephalus. What's that? Hydrocephalus is accumulation of water in, in the furnaces of the brain. Okay, what does it what does it lead to this? Yes. It will keep on enlarging until the capacity of the bone is able to contain it. So the bone itself will keep on enlarging and the sinuses, that is the sutures, will keep on expanding. Does it have a medical cure? Um, the only medical cure is to drain the water. But even as at that, I don't think it has a medical cure. For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. <laughs> that he might destroy the works of you. See, the Bible says from the beginning it was not so. This is nonsense. Are you listening to me? And our job is to bring everything back to the obedience of Christ. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. This demonic, you did not create. Look at me. Come back. Leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her. Don't talk to her. She will come back. You will come back with a testimony. This child's head will start reducing. Are you hearing me? This child, it supernaturally, you will see it go back. Are you listening to me? Hold on, I know. I'm seeing a girl. Baby girl. That was my first daughter. I lost her. Where is she? She's dead. She's dead. That's what I said. The spirit of death. You would have died before the end of the year because I'm seeing a baby girl. And then I didn't see her again. Where's your husband? He's in Kano. Get ready. A baby girl is coming again. Huh? Are you listening to me? Yes. I have three boys. I just gave birth to a little boy. I was not happy. That's what I'm telling you. Do, did you discuss this with me? Did you discuss this no, with me? No. Please, if I don't call any case, don't start bringing people out, please. You for the first please, time, but let her come out. If we, if if we don't call cases, please, we are taking this. I've me, I'm meeting you for the first time. That's what I'm saying. Knowing me is not important. It's the Lord Jesus Christ whom you know. He will come back here and give a testimony Amen. of a baby Amen. girl. Amen. All right, the flame of death, and tell your husband where is he walking. He walked with the school. He and said, then what happened? He's still working. He's still working there. Yes. That's not where he's supposed to be. Huh? We take him to the rightful place. Amen. Where God will bless him. Because this, this has been a financial challenge. This is issue of money. Yes. Yes. Is that true? Yes. But you people too are not very faithful in tithing. So you must have been faithful in tithing. Huh? Did you discuss it with me? No. You will tie it one today because of an emotional message. The only way God knows. You open the door for Satan. Hmm? Madam, you will go back with favor. Amen. I release upon you that grace for favor. Amen. You came with them. What's wrong with his ears? Uh, they took him to the hospital. He was, 
he was, still as a result is as a result of all of these things is connected don't worry as god is taking him back there will be complete restoration yeah. hmm? your son will not you will come back here with testimonies yeah. who are you you know them or you're from kano too My elder sister your elder sister yes, tell sir. me one thing you want the lord to do for you to heal think him. well not him you don't just talk carelessly i'm not not many people will have the opportunity to be asked this question. Let me tell you. To help my family with open doors of favor. Where is your father? My father is late. Where is your mother? Behind them. No, no, no. I'm not saying she should come out. Okay. She's sitting behind them. You are a student? Yes. I finished my secondary school tonight. So I've been writing down since. This is what you would have asked. This is why I asked you. That's what I was praying for you. Eh? You have your relatives here, people who know you, who are also praying for you. Hold my hands. Get into the university. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever the problem is, we cancel it here right now. I don't care what it is. We admit you into any university of your choice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is your number one desire. God will locate your family. Bless you. Where is, please, who brought this woman? Please, if we don't call your case, we are going to, we are going to deal with this. If not, we'll have this place very rowdy now. Who brought this woman? Oh, yeah, come now. Who brought her? No, no, don't worry, don't worry. What's wrong with her? She has brain problem. Brain? She lost her memory. She? Lost her memory. She's lost her memory. She doesn't know you now. Ah. What happened? Just her house help. Oh, you are just her house help. Come and help me. Look at this girl. Many house helps. This is the time to plunder and run away, Pastor. May God turn you from a house help to a great woman. This is your own blessing this night. Hallelujah. This is terrible. Thank you, Jesus. That devil of darkness. He will let this woman go. I bring you life. Life to these dead cells, dead brains. In the name of Jesus. Stand up. Stand up. You look at me. Just look at me. Just look at me. Just try to look at me. Come back to your miracle. Find somewhere and keep this, this noise again. Sweetheart, I pray for you. May the Lord visit you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody brought somebody brought a very sick person from outside the door. I'm saying we'll pray for them, but the Lord is showing me. You brought somebody. Is he a sick person? Who is that person? Inside or outside? Please, let's save time more. God really wants to visit people and we don't want to waste unnecessary time here. He will come back with testimonies for this woman. It's terrible. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone. You literally feel as though they put pepper in your eyes. When you look at light like this, it burns you seriously. This thing started this year. Who is that person, please? Who is that person? Who is that person? Oh. Is she the okay? Come.
Who brought her? Mama? Does she, can I speak English or does she want answer? Come now. Why are you afraid? Huh? What's, what's the issue? Diabetes. Diabetes. It's affecting her eyes. I will pray for her. Tell her I will pray for her and the Lord will heal her. Is she hearing? Is she here? Mama, I will pray for you right now. This is a spirit. Be healed of diabetes right now. I come against that foul spirit. Check herself. Find out that there's no diabetes again. You, you came for yourself. What's wrong with you? Um, it's not that I'm sick. Okay. I need marriage, and I you want to get married. Go straight to the point. Look, let me tell you something. If we ask you to come out here and we and you are just talking stories, you go back to your seat. Praise God. This is this is a family. Nobody is against marriage here. Is that true? If you came here for marriage, when we are praying, receive it. Don't say my neighbor will look. You don't want to get married. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at me. Did you hear the testimonies of the marriage? Sir? The marriage yes, testimonies. Yes, Do you believe God is still at work in this place? Yes, sir. Hold my hands. Are you in a relationship? No. You need to be delivered first before marriage. Hmm? I release you from this curse. This is what has been holding her back. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. We will come back with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I want to pray for supernatural marriages. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Some of you will need to outside. Are you, can you hear me outside? You can stand for yourself or for your family members. I want to pray. Make sure the person you want to get married to is of the opposite sex. Hallelujah. Can I pray for you? Please believe the Lord. Because one of the things that has been happening in this place is supernatural inexplainable the hand of God lift your hands hmm. in the name that is above all names now there are some of you as I pray you see some of you what is stopping you is the hand of darkness for a few people not everybody because I'm seeing spirits the moment I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, the hand of God will come upon some people. Hallelujah. It will come upon them in a mighty way. That's what is stopping the marriage. Lift your hands. Not everybody you can receive, but there are some people, this is what they need. Hallelujah. When I say in the name of Jesus, I just want you to shout, I receive. The moment you say that God will visit some people, I see God touching two ladies outside on this. This this marriage thing, we must deal with it this night. How many of you believe it? In the mighty name of Jesus. Now that devil of darkness, 
that is responsible for delay in marriages come out right now come out right now come out right now that devil of darkness that is responsible the power of god is falling that devil there are spirits that are responsible for delay come out 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 these are demon spirits out in the name of jesus the lord rebuke you the lord rebuke you marital delay the lord rebuke you i tell you god is setting people free marital delay as is happening marital delay marital delay is a yoke of bondage outside the fire of god is visiting a few people all those above 30 30 and above who have not gotten married ladies let god visit you now i release that fire the fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Let there be testimonies of supernatural marriages. This role. I see an angel standing there is one lady the power of god will come upon you strong that devil of darkness enough is enough just this room because i see the angel of the lord standing lord let that person come out the holy ghost will bring you out you will come out you will come out you will come out by the power of the holy ghost leave her alone she will come out no Hallelujah. I want to curse barrenness. Are you listening to me? Now is the time to stand for your loved ones, for yourself. Some of you lived all kinds of reckless past lives. As you are standing now, you may not even have a womb. A new one will come upon you. When God forgives sins, He forgives consequences. I don't care what the biological complication is. I like you to receive. You will come back with testimonies. Hallelujah. Now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Shut up, shut up, shut up. That curse of childlessness. In the name of Jesus. I set you free. I set you free. I set your loved ones free. I set you free. Any barren person in this place, any barren family in this place, ma ta 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 ta, re ke te te te, re ke te te te, re ke po shoto, ba koko po te ke, re ke te po soko toba, le ke po yata, ma re ke te 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 te, e ke po ro to pa kata. You will come back with miracle children. You will come back with miracle children. Your loved ones will come back with miracle children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for a few people. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is showing me some people. You've been so you are an adult, but you don't know what happens. You've been suffering from bed wetting. You wake up in the morning and you find out that you are easing yourself on your bed. There's, no, there's nothing to be embarrassed. Man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are that kind of person. Come and stand out here quickly. Forget about who is watching you. Nobody has that time. Let me tell you. There are people like that, a devil of darkness inside and outside this is a this is a demonic issue 
there are people oh, there are people don't be afraid don't be ashamed it's a spirit it's not just about discipline you can't stop it with discipline I don't know why God is visiting that situation hallelujah let's take the next case I'm seeing problems with your heart whether hole in your heart or any form of asthmatic condition please come out quickly hole in your heart or asthmatic condition please let's save time That devil is a liar. I've, I had an accident. After the accident, they said my heart will enlarge and there is an uh, infection. It will, it will go back. Amen. Be free right now. Amen. Heart, return to your normal condition. Infection, go. In the name of the Lord Jesus. As I lay hands on you, whatever the issue is, you will be healed of it. Whether heart, asthma, be free right now. Please make sure you are coming out for the case we have mentioned. What are you coming out for? Having a hole in my heart. Always, ever since I come out from Osa. Did the doctors tell you? Yes. After the treatment. The ulcer has been stopping me, but just for a while. But that will. Sister, come. God will visit you. This has nothing to do with ulcer. Hmm? Where's your. You have an elder sister? Yes. Where is she? She's in Abuja. Is she married? Yes. What What's she doing? She's married, but the first child she gave birth to it has been a problematic child. But. This is six years now. She has not stepped her feet on the on the ground, and she has not started talking. And Let all this why she has not given birth to child. Lay one hand on your chest. See, whatever is happening to one person here is happening to you too. Are you listening to me? You must believe it. This lady with yellow. That lady, you, 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 no, no, don't come out. Just lift your hands where you are. Both of your hands now, are you pledging? Look at me. Father, visit this girl. The Lord is showing me something about her. Lord, visit this lady. Set her free. Gina Rabana like a mighty rushing wind that spirit will not stand it's looking like a knife is going through you set her free Lord what's wrong with you lay your hands there since when just lay your hands and look at me don't worry Be healed in the name of Jesus. Heart. Okay, just hold my hands as I pray for you. You'll be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Oh, we love God very well. 
what of you is not true. It's true. <laughs> How true is it? Eh? Shall we see how true it is? Lord, visit him. I break this addiction from your life. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Why did you say it's true? You do. Let it not corrupt your Christian testimony. God is not just visiting you, but your family. You are in for it with God this night because it's, it's multiple. Some families have put some people in trouble they don't know. Parents in their innocence have gone to do things in a bid to try to help the be healed, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of be free. This is what is happening. This thing is all the way from Lagos. This is God setting this lady free. Sometimes we do things. Parents, be careful. You go to places and do things believing you are helping your children. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. I release you in the name of Jesus Christ because God wants to use you in a mighty healing ministry. Be healed in the name of Jesus. My brother, God is calling you this night. When I make the altar call, before I finish, just run and come and stand here. Right? This is your night. Eh? There is no issue of running to God and then... God brought you because we love you. Okay? You deserve You deserve You deserve The lifting of my walk with me. And this is why God is telling me this is how your life is. That's why I held you and I was walking. God wants to set you free from serious confusion. You are easily deceived. Anybody can tell you anything and that's why I was moving around. This does not, this is confusion. You get easily deceived. Anybody just say anything and you believe. Can I pray for you? Hold my hands, both of your hands. Satan, it's time up for you with this lady. Foul spirit. You will let this lady go. Release her. You can't stand it. I've seen you in the spirit. God is against you. This demonic thing must leave you. So pakapata. Reketebola koso pratika debaus. strong heart 
Bible says, be wise as serpents. What are you here for, my sister? Oh, while you were praying, you saw yourself on the ground. You decided to come and report yourself. <laughs> what do you think God is doing? Just stretch your hands like you're receiving something. Look at me. Truly, you will receive something. Just look at me. you are receiving spiritual things. <laughs> you can't hold it. It's too heavy for you. For you and for all your family members, may God visit you. God is not done with you. There is a fire that will burn you the same thing will be happening to your family members. You need to be free. You love God, but there are all kinds of encumbrances. This night, this one is not just deliverance. This one is God catching you finally for him. Lord, take over her whole life from head to toe. Take over everything you can take over in this lady's life. Cares, go. Cares, go. Yes, go! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray. Just leave her out because she's not recovering soon. This one is not just deliverance. God is taking, I have found my servant David. This is what is happening. When God finds a man, he doesn't leave you easily. He makes sure that you rise up with a hunger that nothing else. I trust God that this will happen to many people in this place tonight. Because I tell you, pastor, a lot of people are in certain situations because they love God, but they have cares. So they, are, they, are, they easily become praise. It's not enough to, to be healed or to be delivered. Your heart must be with God for you to walk in sustainable victory. Many people like miracle service. They just run and come and take the miracle and then they run away. But let me tell you something. Your heart, come sister. Unto him, come. Who sits on the throne. Let God find you today. Are you hearing me? To Jesus, the Lamb, who was slain. Hold my hand. Father, find a vessel in this lady. Do with her what only you can do. Ignite a fire in her spirit. Even as you have revealed to me, let this lady have a, a passion that cannot be quantified. In the name of Jesus, every spiritual weakness leaves you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lamb who was slain. Hallelujah. The Lord is healing my grain headache. The Lord is healing my grain headache. My grain headache, intense. My grain headache. Where's my neighbor? Is she here? She, she didn't come. Please come. Tonight the Lord is going to visit you. See, many of you don't know that there's something called the season of God's visitation. Precious, yeah. Precious. You are precious. Your real name, oh, the one precious. <laughs> May 
make sure it's the name your father gave you. Not the one you gave yourself. This I say I must be precious. God, you must visit me. Many people threaten me with text messages during the miracles. I say, see, God must visit me. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Lord is visiting you. Hold my hands. This demon of marital delay is going. You will go to a real deliverance, right? Come out! Come out of her! Shataka balada The fire of God is burning your whole body from head to toe. It's a foul spirit. In this area, we are going to celebrate your wedding. It, I'm announcing it this night. In this area, we are going to celebrate your wedding. That foul devil. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Secretary. Come out of her. Come out. Come out of her. Come out, you foul spirit. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted. This is a snake. Look at look at what is happening. Look at what is happening. I see. Look at look at this. This is what is responsible. Come out. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Just leave her. It cannot stand. It's going. Now foul devil, you will release her. There is no hiding. The power of God is against you. You will go and return no more. And as you are going, I call forth your husband, not a man. Your husband. Your husband. Precious. All of you, all of you have come. No, 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 I didn't ask my green to come out. But since you came out, may God visit you. You have an elder brother? Where is he? He's in Abuja. Doing what? He's, no, he's doing nothing. He went for holiday. Which holiday? He went to Hosu. Tell him to come back. This is what happens to people. They, they just believe that bread is in Abuja. Let me tell you. Some of you want to run. You want to fake this and run to Germany. Can I tell you something? The Bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west. Because some of you are already planning. You just believe. You say you are running. Where to say greener pastures? The Bible says he makes me lie down in. The green pastures is the presence of God. Don't feel embarrassed. Okay? May the Lord visit you and visit your brother in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be a great teacher of the word. Huh? You will be a great teacher of the word. Something like light will hit your eyes right now. And God will give you the spirit of revelation. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Open his eyes. Open his eyes. You will be rich, oh. Because you have suffered, you will be rich. And look at me. I'm not just, this is not entertainment. I'm telling you the word of the Lord. Huh? Never forget the house of God. But you will be mightily blessed. How it will happen, we even make people think you went to diabolic, you went and did diabolic things. May the Lord bring this to pass. You will see it happen. Some of you don't know that God will use you more than you have planned. You just think you will just be passive in the house of God and not do anything. No way. God knows how to get you. He will bring you for miracle service quietly. While you are thinking fashion and business and this, God is thinking fashion plus ministry. It's not just fashion, oh my dear. And beauty makeup is, is, is a serious call. My name 
is precious. Where's your mother? Where? Do you believe God wants to visit your family? Yes. Tell your mother to forgive everybody that has done whatever. Yes. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Who offended her? It was one of our uncles. She said, Abba. To her. She said that he, she used to tell us as our children that, that he maltreated her. This thing, since when she was small yes, till was now, small. this is what is stopping her breakthrough. Did you discuss this with me? No. Let her forgive, please. For as long as you keep somebody down, part of you will still be down. Is that true? Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. All those who are called into the worship ministry, please, listen. If you come out here, I, I don't mean you like singing or you have a passion. No, I, I like singing. I'm not called into the worship ministry. You get my point? Please, don't be emotional about it about it. Come and line up here quickly. Quickly. God wants to visit people. I don't know why. Worship ministry will be alive to see you if after this prayer worship ministry ah. please think about it oh. see the worship ministry is not a hobby. Blessed is he. If there's no space, just stand where you are because fire, there's going to be a restoration of the Davidic order of worship. Believe it. I'm going to stand. Listen, as I walk around this place, the power and is, is fire that will come. It will catch many of you in a mighty way. Lord Jesus, as I begin to take it, take it right now, take it, fall, fall, take it, take it, take the fire, 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 take the fire. Take the fire. The Davidic order of worship. Take the fire. Take the fire. Take the fire. Take the fire. Shaka baladabakata. Sing like angels. Receive it. It's coming on you. Lift up your hands, all of you that came to the front. My God, let it fall right now. My God, let it fall right now. To those standing at the door, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Healing anointings. Take it. Make sure you are receiving it. songs. Many of you will hear songs in your spirit. New songs, psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. Receive it. Psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, songs of power, songs of light, songs of grace. Songs of healing. Listen. Consecration is the key. Consecration is the key to a life of true worship. Consecration. Thank God for the music dimension, but consecration is the key to a genuine life. You want to stand, some of you are already looking for money. If this is your ambition, you will not get this Davidic anointing. It doesn't happen that way. Your heart must pant after God and after his kingdom. You must stay in the place of training 
until he builds you. Oh, let it fall. Yes, Lord, let it fall. Let it fall. As it were in the days of Jehoshaphat. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. Dimensions. Lord, release it from the east side of the temple. Let there be a releasing. Songs of power. Songs of the spirit. Hallelujah. So that we will do mighty things for our God. Hallelujah. Please go back to your seat. Thank you, Jesus. Did you bring prayer requests? Please pass them quickly. Now, all those who are sick, inside and outside, please, I'd like you to come out quickly. While this is happening, be passing the prayer request. Please, let's save time. Do it quickly. Mighty things are happening in this place. Man, de 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 bakoso so so bato 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 prato shubata zike te 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 preke te pele de bush. Please don't be in a rush this night, because what God wants to do, He has not finished. Zise 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 mene ke te pele de bush. Please, you are sick. Come out, just ushers help and line them up, please, please. Quickly, quickly, this is a miracle service. As you come and stand, trust God for your miracle. Trust God for your healing, please. If you are doubting, just go back to your seat. Anybody who is, please play the instrument. Anybody, mic, music director, whoever. Malia Marako, Sobreti Kalabash. Those of you, those of you stay, make sure you are praying for them. As I lay my hands on you, I want to assure you. Please believe God for real miracles. Just Some of you, as you are standing, because there is a healing river, as you are standing, you can't stand that majestic healing presence of the Holy Spirit. It's a majestic presence. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit, gentle touch. Help me, Pastor. Please help him with your mic. Is flowing. Jesus. Jesus. We, we believe. Make sure you pass Jesus. your prayer request. Jesus. I tell you, there is a there healing is river. Healing in there is a day. healing river.
as soon as we pray on the request, I want to release breakthroughs into lives and families. This is probably one of the biggest miracles that will happen in this place tonight. Many of you don't know what a breakthrough is. The Bible says, and Abraham was old and stricken in age, and God had blessed him in all things. This is what we call breakthrough. Hallelujah. Please, if you have not submitted your request, let me tell you where we got the revelation of this. The Bible says, and they sent a threat letter to Hezekiah. Remember? And the Bible says, Hezekiah took the letter and came and dropped it on the altar and showed God the threatenings. And when that happened, there was wisdom that was revealed. And they strategized worshippers. And the Bible says that they began to fight themselves in the camp. You will see a lot of confusion as we begin to pray for this thing. I'm, I don't mean confusion here. Confusion in the camp of the enemy. Whatever request you brought in this place, I really want, many of you don't know what God is doing this night. God is setting people on fire. We have a few minutes remaining. But God will visit you. We want you to come back with evidences that God touched you. See, when you get results, it's a consolation to your Christian work. Are you listening to me? Those outside, look at some of you standing. Standing right across, I see you. God cannot allow you to go back the same way. It's impossible. You didn't come to meet an idol. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet, everybody. It's a very prophetic moment right now. As we pray, I'd like to ask the ministers, Pastor Williams. Pastor. So. Please, if you've not written your request, drop it. God is doing great things in this place. As we begin to pray on this request. Hallelujah. Pray along with us. Prophesy. Stretch your hands and pray. Tell the Lord, this is my request, O Lord. This is my request. Father, locate people. Locate people, O God. Locate cases. There are, there are difficult cases. Cases of barrenness. Deliverances for families. Lord, this is an altar you have sanctified. In one accord we pray. Just lay your hands across it as we release the virtue of perfection. Total breakthroughs. Academic breakthroughs. Make sure you are praying. Say, Lord, my request in this is in this place. Locate it. Those online, we are connecting with them also in the spirit. Those following us on all of our online channels. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Release breakthroughs to families. We sanctify this request. These Egyptians will never be seen in families and lives again. Change stories, oh God. children the I am that I am the beginning and the end the first and the last who is there like unto you you are greater than the greatest you are stronger than the strongest 
You are mightier than the mightiest. You are the one who sits in the heavens and you made the earth your full stool. You are great. You are greatly to be praised. We thank you because of this opportunity that you have given unto us, O oh God, to bring down our needs, our supplication, our requests unto your feet. You said in your word that you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly far above all we ever ask, think, or imagine according to the power that is at work within us. We thank you, O oh God, because we know that every need that has been penned down, every request that has been written down, you have already seen it. You have already seen it. And because you have seen it, we thank you because this, this request has seen by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And we see you doing great things in this place tonight. Thank you for the testimonies. Thank you for the testimonies that are coming out from this pen down written notes. We thank you for the testimonies coming out from this. In the name of Jesus, we bless you because we know that we'll come here next time to give you thanks of what you have done. Thank you, Lord, because every need, every need, every need here, they are met. Amen. We give you thanks. 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 Oh God, we give you thanks. Lord, we give you thanks. We give you praise. For we know that all things work together for our good. We give you thanks. We give you praise. For by faith we know your grace. We see us. Praise the Lord. My God, as I pray, you gave me an anointing to bless, an anointing to release. Father, as many people that are in this place, inside and outside, they came here Lord, as I speak on behalf of the government of heaven, let these words be so effectual. Let these words be fervent. Respond, O oh God. Every word I declare, let there be testimonies that will return. Every word that I'm about to declare to you, Please, when I pray, I like you to shout amen with all your heart. Because I sense a very strong prophetic anointing coming upon me. I really want to speak from the depths of my heart. I don't just want you to believe it. I want you to return. The Bible says, and the 70 return rejoicing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for families. Lift your hands. Let's start with families right now. Please, I'd like you to shout amen with all your heart. Hallelujah. Every family represented in this place, every family, any curse, any ordinance of darkness, every yoke of bondage, afflicting any family I set you free now in the name of Jesus I set families free now in the name of Jesus I set families free now in the name of Jesus I set families free now in the name of Jesus father mother brothers sisters be free be free, be free, be free, be free, be free, be free. Oh, you will come back with 
testimonies. Anyone here, whether you or your family members, looking for a job in the mighty name that is above all names, between today and the next 40 days, I place a demand upon the heavens. Receive miracle job. Receive miracle job. Receive miracle job for you, for your loved ones. probation you are trusting the hand whatever it is you're doing your project things are difficult whatever academic issue tonight in the name of the lord god of israel the one who does wonders in this place i declare step into a season of academic victory step into a season of academic victory i release you from any kind of bondage I release you any kind of academic bondage be free be free be free Amen. hallelujah all those who are due for marriage whether you or your love your loved ones see let me tell you in this place once you are of marriageable age, you must marry. Are you hearing me? Are you listening to me? What did I say? Hallelujah. Somebody married, that's why you are here. You must marry. Praise God. Are you listening to me? Right now, I speak as a servant of the living God. I've prayed about it, but I will pray again. I pray. Some of you, you are a lady, you are pretty. But no man can come around. This is a curse. Tonight I pray that your wives and your husbands, those of you who, are, who have concubines and etc. When I make the altar call, run out here. Because this is what will stop you. You are entitled to only one wife. Say amen. amen. You are entitled to only one husband. Say amen. amen. The spirit of double dating dies here tonight. <laughs> Leave another sister's husband to locate her husband. Leave another brother's wife to locate him. But I pray in the name of Jesus, before the end of this year, may there be fearful or inspiring Miracle marriage. Take it. Take it. God told before December 31st, 2013, come back with testimonies for yourself, for your loved ones. We supply the resources. We supply the grace.
Hallelujah. Any terminal disease in this place, HIV, whatever it is, Hallelujah. Infections, all kinds of satanic names, I declare right now, we curse it from the root in the name of Jesus. Anyone here whose genotype is SS or AS in the name that is above all names, be changed, be changed to AA. I change it in the name of the Lord. Receive it. Receive a change of genotype. You will come back with testimonies. Believe it. Receive it. Everything he made, he made it beautiful. Any kind of demonic dreams and oppressions of darkness. Some of you see people sleep with you. Some of you see all kinds of demonic things. Molestations of darkness. I pray right now. The last time you had that dream or that experience, let it be the last time forever in your life. I said let it be the last time forever. Let it be the last time forever. Satan, I curse you. I curse every foul spirit. Those who are students and are in final year, I declare, those who need the mercy of God for their graduation, I pray right now, let policies be changed. Let something happen in your faculty that has never happened. We release you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to prophesy restoration. Whatever it is that you have lost, whether as a result of your past or mistakes, opportunities, graces, I pray that the God who regulates times and seasons, let that season come back to your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every lecturer in this place, or those who your parents are lecturers, stand for them. I want to speak. There are lecturers whose promotions are overdue. Is that true? Is that true? In the name that is above all names, this night we command even offices that are not available, we create it for them this night. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says. And the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. The king sent for Joseph. Tonight, I connect you with supernatural destiny helpers that will take you from where you are to the next level. I connect you. I call for the helpers of your destiny. Financial helpers. Marital helpers. Career help us, spiritual help us, receive your ministry in your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray any project anyone is doing here, whether you or your whether building project whatever it is for you and for your families you are building a three bedroom flat that has taken over 10 years this is a curse i pray right now in the name of jesus let there be supernatural supplies the beds that brought food for the prophet i command may they locate your family i open up the heavens over your family in the name of jesus Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One of the things God is doing in this season is preparing people for dimensions of prosperity that will scare people. Hallelujah. God is seriously looking for men who he will trust. 
these men will not just get well they will be trained the first thing you need is the staying grace the school is not easy let me tell you the truth but happy are you when you pass through it because you will command wealth that will make you afraid i pray for you every curse of poverty and lack there are some of you who are kingdom financiers the power of god will come upon you kingdom financiers kingdom financiers kingdom financiers kingdom financiers now i pray for everyone this cause of poverty that is upon many lives and families that has closed the heaven over many people in the name of the lord jesus this night by the sure mercies of the god of david i command your heavens to be open i command your financial heavens be open be open be open be open be open be open that bring prosperity favor and wisdom hallelujah money comes through favor it is preserved through wisdom the bible says through wisdom is a house built and by understanding it is established through knowledge the rooms are filled with every treasurable thing i pray let your hands receive wealth that only god can give inexplainable but undeniable receive it in the name of Jesus let me tell you brothers it is not by power when it comes to prosperity it is not by might it's by the spirit of God hallelujah two more things and we're up I want to pray for favor. This is one of the things we enjoy in abundance. Hallelujah. I cannot tell you how the favor of God works. No man can explain it. But I know it works. I know it works. I am a testament. If you believe I want you to believe many of you, you you are used to suffering you don't know what the favor of god can do some of our family members what you need is the favor of god the bible says in isaiah 44 verse 3 said they got not into their land they got not the land by their possessions. Neither did their arms save them. But because you had, you showed favor towards them. Please believe. One encounter of favor. I tell you it can, it can, it can keep you in a position for a lifetime. Believe it. There is something called divine favor. What you see today is the evidence. We have never paid a dime for this venue. The last miracle service, I still don't know who paid for the venue. This is the favor of God. I want you to believe it. If you want to work for everything in your life, get set to die. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Favor. For many of you to come on you, this is what you need. I'm telling you, this is what you need. Families, what you need is favor, not stories. My God, my God. I pray in the name of Jesus the favor that is upon Koinonia I take it and I release it to your life take it now take it now take it now take it now, take it now. I activate favor 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 with God favor with man favor receive it Favor. Koinonia is called the place of intimacy and partnership with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 
You cannot come here tonight and not be on fire for God. You cannot be here tonight and not be on fire for the things of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to release grace that your spiritual life will stand strong and solid. Many of you, your prayer altars are dead. It's not because you don't love God. Hallelujah. Many of you, one leg in, one leg out. Last year, you were on fire this year. Hallelujah. Many of our mothers, fathers, people at home, our prayer life, our word life, we are looking for things that only the word of God can give us. But Jesus said to Martha, I said, one thing is needful. One thing. One thing. I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. Alongside with this, I want to pray for the distribution of the gifts of the spirit. Hallelujah. Paul said, I long to come to you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established. A powerless Christianity, and I'm not talking of just falling out. Christianity with results. Christianity with proofs. We have too many talkatives in the body of Christ. Inside or outside. Some of you have been crying and said, Lord, can't my life not have proofs? Can't the sick be healed through my hands too? Can I not bless people and it will work for them? Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. I consider it to be an all-important impartation. Please get ready because it will come upon you. Different kinds of gifts of the Spirit. Stirrings of the Spirit. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. At the shout of that name, some of you will, will be set on fire literally. So that your spiritual life will be hot. So that God will use you and do wonders. Are you ready? Shout it with all your heart at the count of three. One. Two. Three. Take it. Lord of knowledge. Take it. Gifts of wisdom. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Receive it. I set your prayer life on fire. I set your prayer life on fire. Let the spirit of revelation fall. Spirit of revelation. The teaching anointing. Leadership anointing. Take it. Take it. Take it. Leadership anointing. Jesus. Leadership anointing. Jesus. Oh, Praise to fast. Jesus. Praise to pray. Jesus. Praise to say no. To sin. Praise to say no. To destructive Jesus. habits. Every result that we enjoy in this house may it be part of your life from today. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I release entrepreneurial ideas. Say, there is a spirit. Listen. I take from the abundance of grace that God has given me entrepreneurial ideas that will raise financial giants. Lift your hands, everybody. In the mighty name of Jesus, take it, take it, take it, take it.
Hallelujah. May your life be a fruitful life. May your life be a fruitful life. Amen. May your life be a fruitful life. May God bring results to your life. To be a consolation to your Christian work. Any life that has not been experiencing results. That you have never testified. May this be your month. Any life that has not been experiencing results. May this be your month. Do you believe this? Hallelujah. I want to give you an opportunity inside and outside. If you've never given your heart to the Lord, please keep standing everybody. You've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hear me. Inside and outside, you are hearing my voice right now. You have seen the works of the Lord. It's time for you to get into a real relationship with God. Or for some of you, you have given your heart to the Lord. Hallelujah. But you found yourself derailing. Inside and outside, the Lord is speaking to you. Mother, father, whoever. I want you to leave your seat and come out here right now. I want to lead you and reconnect you back to the king of kings. The lover of your life. Inside and outside. Right now, leave your seat and come. Koinonia, appreciate them as they come. Everybody. Thank you. Thank you. They are coming. God bless you. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Our mother is coming. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Outside. Don't let the devil stop you. Mother, father, whoever. Yes. It's time to surrender. Appreciate them. It doesn't matter what your past is. God can give you a new beginning. Don't allow the person you came with to stop you. This is the greatest miracle. Another Jesus. I give Keep clapping. Myself Keep clapping. They are still coming. The Holy Ghost is convicting them inside and outside. Thank you, Jesus. Be reconnected to the maker of your life. I surrender more. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you, sister. God bless you, brother. And I surrender. God bless you. Hallelujah. I want to celebrate you for your bold decision for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. People close their eyes when they are about to get born again as if what they are doing is wrong. This is the greatest miracle. Hallelujah. And I want you to know that we celebrate you. Some of you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time. Others have given your heart to the Lord, but you found yourself derailing. I want to pray for you. The Lord loves you and he wants to make meaning out of your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, all of you in front. I like you to say after me and mean it from the depths of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you. And I thank you for dying for my sins. This night, I believe that Jesus is Savior and Lord. And I accept him. My name is in the book of life. I declare that I'm saved. The Holy Spirit is in me. Eternal life is mine. From today, I denounce sin and Satan and every past life and I receive grace to live a victorious Christian life. My sins are washed away. It's a new beginning for me. Amen. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you. You brought these ones by your spirit. You brought them to bless. You brought them to reconnect them to the maker of their lives. My God, I pray that their salvation will last. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that you do mighty things through their lives. I pray that many destinies will be blessed. 
the reason and the purpose for which they came to the earth let it be discovered and maximized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I pray that every encumbrance everything that keeps you in the path that is not of God you are free from me today there is grace for you you will enjoy a victorious fellowship with the Holy Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus hallelujah praise the Lord we celebrate you please I'd like you to follow the ushers they'll have your details and we'll send you a text and get across to you pastor Jakes is not around but we'll send we'll make arrangements and I'll be there by God's grace to see you God bless you please tomorrow together with them all those who have not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit with evidence of speaking in tongues six on the dot please be at the chapel I will be there to minister to you hallelujah six on the dot be at the chapel hallelujah praise the Lord please rise up we're closing thank you for waiting this long all those who are worshiping with us for the first time inside and outside we love you and we believe God brought you here to bless you I like you to jump on your feet and rush out here quickly celebrate them koinonia if this is your first time please inside and outside you are special we have a prayer for you God bless you God bless you God bless you God bless you all those who invited them I pray that every good thing will come into your life in the name of Jesus God bless you God bless you keep clapping they are still coming thank you thank you sas thank you Mark. thank you thank you keep clapping until they come they are special to us they are the evidence that God is at work in hello beloved in Christ we hope this message was a blessing to you I would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and then if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin